Big Quagmire, watch this. Hey, kick me! <laughs> Boys and girls, we have a new student joining us this morning. Her name is Lois Pewterschmidt. Ugh, just what we need, another girl. You said it. Wow, I'd like to play doctor with her and, and remove her inflamed appendix before it bursts, causing sepsis. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Hey, Lois, what you reading? The Red Badge of Courage. Huh. I sure wish I could meet a brave fella like the guy in this book. You know, uh, I'm a brave guy, Lois. Oh, yeah? I bet you're not brave enough to laugh at death. Watch me. <laughs> oh, thanks. Like I don't have enough trouble fitting in. I bet you're not brave enough to take all your clothes off. Lay your head of you. Out! Well, I bet you're too chicken to spend the night at the old Selberg place. Uh, Cleveland, you mind stepping out of the way? Oh, sorry. Well, I ain't chicken to spend the night there. Well, I ain't neither. And to prove it, I'm going up there tonight. So you're there, pal. You can't stay in that house. Old man Selberg's ghost still haunts it. Not to mention the myriad of bacteria and allergens from years of substandard housekeeping. It does not augur well for you. Oh, zip it, egghead. You with your big words and your... and your... your small, difficult words. Wow. Any boy who would spend the night in that creepy place sure would be the bravest fella I ever met. That Lois is some kind of woman. Yeah, just thinking about her makes my testicles want to drop. Oop, speak of the devil. Oop, make that devils. <laughs> Quagmire's team will take the left side of the house, and Peter's team will take the right. And whoever's alive in the morning can bury his dead pals. Do I have a cobweb in my hair? It feels like I have a cobweb in my hair. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's just Michael Winslow from Police Academy. <laughs> This house gives me the creeps. Yeah, let's get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. We can't let those guys win. What we ought to do is pretend we're ghosts, see? And then we'll scare the other guys out of the house. Then we can say that we spent the night, and everyone will think that we're the bravest kids in the world. Especially Lois. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, I got a great idea. This will really scare them. Everybody set? Check. Check. <laughs> Suck it to me! If we only had a teacup, this would be like playing find the teacup in the bedsheet like I do with my Aunt Sophia. God, not only are ghosts real, but their innards are made of children. Peter, it's us! <laughs> Say, that's a nice effect. Yeah, that's really scary. Wait a second. If you're there, and I'm here, and Istanbul is somewhere in this general area, then who the hell is that? <laughs> Get used to this sight, Diane. Guy's running away from you. Tom, you're so deep in the closet, you're finding Christmas presents. Ah! All right, now remember our story. We tell Lois that we both stayed all night, and I caught the ghost with my lasso. Yeah, yeah, and I punched him so hard he ran crying all the way back to hell. She'll have to believe that. It hangs together so perfectly. Our top story today, cowardly kids lay down rubber at the old Selberg place. Wait, 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 turn that up. Peter Griffin and Glenn Quagmire were seen bolting... We're seen bolting out of the supposedly haunted house after just one half hour, leaving only their pride and twin trails of urine behind them. Ah, oh, cheese and crackers. Now Lois will know everything. Not if I can help it. Newsroom. Hello, this is Peter Griffin. You better stop saying that stuff or we're gonna watch something else. Today on The View, Cooties, the silent killer. Giggity, giggity, giggity goo. Stick around.